The FDA says nuclear medicine has made tremendous progress over the last 10 years. Physicians say nuclear medicine can help cancer patients live longer and enjoy a higher quality of life. Today, Josh Mailman travels to Washington, D.C. twice a year to advocate for cancer patients. But his world seemed much more limited when he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer 16 years ago. When I was diagnosed, I had a 10-month-old. And I didn't think I'd actually see him graduate first grade. Despite living with stage 4 cancer for 16 years, Mailman now travels the country, competes in races, and coaches his son's high school sports teams. You know, I'm pleased to say that I actually watched him get his driver's license uh, last month. Mailman points out he has also kept his hair. Mount Sinai Chief of Nuclear Medicine Munir Ghassani says what allows patients like Josh to suffer less side effects than many receiving other treatments is the fact that nuclear procedures can target cancer cells specifically without harming healthy cells. Deliver your treatment at a highest possible concentration to where it matters and avoid going to the non-target areas. Mailman was forced to receive his procedure in Germany more than a decade ago, but since then, the Food and Drug Administration approved more types of nuclear treatments for U.S. use. FDA Director of Radiation Medicine, Louis Marzella, says radioactive treatments are safer than many assume. They are given in very low doses. We don't expect or really tolerate any serious reactions for diagnostic radiopharmaceuticals. Marzella believes nuclear treatments will continue making significant progress and sees potential to eventually treat Alzheimer's and dementia. So it's an expanding area that uh, offers you know, great hope. Mailman says there needs to be more awareness about the nuclear treatments already available. The quality of life that one has using nuclear medicine treatment is, is really incredibly high. In Washington, I'm Brendan Cullerton.